Welcome back to the channel. This is a continuation of our previous video, which was the design of a rectangular footing with eccentric loading. And now for the sixth step, we will calculate for the number of steel reinforcement of the footing. We will begin with the design of longitudinal steel reinforcement. In this diagram, we have a length LX equals to 3,800 mm and length LY is equals to 2,500 mm. The critical section for flexural occurs at the face of the column. The bending moment in each direction of the footing must be checked and the appropriate reinforcement must be provided. In rectangular footings, the bending moments in X and Y directions are different. To determine the reinforcement required, the depth of the footing in each direction should be considered. Since the bars in one direction rest on top of the bars in the other direction, the effective depth, D, varies with the diameter of the bars used. And take note that the placement of the longitudinal steel reinforcement like as shown in the diagram, is resting at the top of the other reinforcement and is parallel to the longer direction. To calculate for the effective depth D, and if we cut through this section, the effective depth D, would be equal to the thickness, 600 mm, minus 1.5 times the diameter, 20 mm, minus concrete cover, 75 mm. That gives us a value of 495 mm. And then we will calculate for the X sub C, that is equals to length L X, 3800 mm divided by 2, minus, 0 0.5 times C X, 400 mm and that gives us 1,700 mm. To calculate for the moment mu, we will calculate first for the Q sub s, that is equals to the minimum net upward pressure, Q u x min, plus, the maximum net upward pressure, Q u x max, minus, minimum net upward pressure, Q u x min, multiply by length L x minus x sub c, divided by length L x. And we have, 160.27 kN per square millimeters, plus 220.37 kN per square millimeters, minus 160.27 kN per square millimeters, multiply by 3800 millimeters, minus 1700 millimeters, divided by 3800 millimeters. And that gives us a value of 193.48 kN per square millimeters. Next is to calculate for the moment mu, which is equals one half of the q sub s, multiply by the length ly, times square of x sub c, plus, one third multiply by the maximum net upward pressure, q u x max, minus, q sub s, multiply by the length ly, times square of x sub c. And we have, one half times 193.48 kN per square millimeters, times 2500 millimeters, times square of 1700 millimeters, plus one third times, 220.37 kN per square millimeters, minus, 193.48 kN per square millimeters, times 2500 millimeters, times square of 1700 millimeters, and that gives us a value of 763.71 kN meter. And then we will calculate for the R sub n, that is equals to the moment mu, 763.71 kN meter, divided by 0 0.9 times the width b, 2500 mm, times, square of the effective depth, d, 495 mm, multiply by the square of 1000. And that gives us a value of 1.385 newton per square millimeter. After that, we can now solve for the actual steel ratio, which has a formula of 0 0.85 times Fc prime over Fy times open bracket 1 minus square root of 1 minus 2 times R sub n divided by the 0 0.85 of Fc prime close parenthesis and close bracket. And the result is equals to 0 0.00345. To solve for the area of steel, we will multiply the actual steel ratio, 0 0.00345, with the width b, 2500 mm, times the effective depth, d, 495 mm, and that gives us a value of 4269.38 square millimeter.
Then, we will also calculate for the minimum area of steel, that is 2% of the gross area, 0.002 times the width, 2,500 mm, times the thickness, 600 mm, and the result is 3,000 square millimeter. Then, we will choose the larger of the two areas of steel, and that is the 4,269.38 square millimeter. And to calculate for the number of longitudinal steel reinforcement, we will divide 4,269.38 square millimeter with the area of steel, pi over 4 times, the square of the diameter 20 millimeters, and the result is 13.6. Round this up to 14. And the final number of longitudinal steel reinforcement is 14 pieces of 20 millimeters diameter. Now, to get the spacing of the longitudinal steel reinforcement, we have 2,500 mm minus 2 times the clear cover, 75 mm minus 3 times the diameter of the rebars, 20 mm, divided by the number of steel, 14. Then the result is 164 mm. However, you may opt to decrease the spacing from 164 mm into 160 mm. Moving on to the design of short span steel reinforcement. In this diagram, the short span steel is parallel to the shorter dimension of the footing. Further, the placement of the short span steel reinforcement is below the longitudinal steel. And cutting through this section, we can calculate for the effective depth, d, that is equals to the thickness, 600 mm, minus 0.5 times the diameter, 20 mm, minus concrete cover, 75 mm, that gives us a value of 515 mm. And then we will calculate for y sub c, that is equals to length ly, 2500 mm divided by 2, minus 0.5 times cy, 400 mm, and that gives us 1050 mm. To calculate for the moment mu, we will calculate first for the Q sub s, that is equals to the minimum net upward pressure, Q u y min, plus, the maximum net upward pressure, Q u y max, minus, minimum net upward pressure, Q u y min, multiplied by length l y minus y sub c, divided by length l y. And we have, 121.8 kN per square millimeters, plus 258.83 kN per square millimeters, minus 121.8 kN per square millimeters, multiply by 2500 millimeters, minus 1050 millimeters, divided by 2500 millimeters. And that gives us a value of 201.28 kN per square millimeters. Next is to calculate for the moment mu, which is equals one half of the q sub s, multiplied by the length lx, times square of y sub c, plus, one third multiplied by the maximum net upward pressure, q u y max, minus, q sub s, multiplied by the length lx, times square of y sub c. And we have, one half times 201.28 kN per square millimeters, times 3800 millimeters, times square of 1050 millimeters, plus one third times 258.83 kN per square millimeters, minus 201.28 kN per square millimeters, times 3800 millimeters, times square of 1050 millimeters, and that gives us a value of 502 kN meter. And then we will calculate for the R sub n, that is equals to the moment mu, 502 kilonewton meter, divided by 0 0.9 times the width b, 3800 millimeters, times, square of the effective depth, d, 515 millimeters. And that gives us a value of 0 0.553 newton per square millimeter. After that, we can solve for the actual steel ratio, which has a formula, 0.85 times Fc prime over Fy, times, open bracket, 1, minus, square root of, 1 minus 2 times R sub n, divided by the 0.85 of Fc prime, close parenthesis and close bracket. And the result is equals to 0.00135. To solve for the area of steel, 
we will multiply the actual steel ratio, 0.00135, with the width B, 3800 mm, times the effective depth, D, 515 mm, and that gives us a value of 2641.95 square mm. Then, we will compare it to the minimum area of steel, that is 2% of the gross area, 0.002 times, the width, 3800 mm, times, the thickness, 600 mm, and the result is 4560 square mm. This time we will choose the 4560 square mm, which is the larger of the two. And to calculate for the number of short span steel reinforcement, we will divide 4560 square millimeter with pi over 4 times the square of the diameter 20 millimeters and the result is 14.51, round this up to 15, and the short span steel reinforcement would be 15 pieces of 20 millimeters diameter rebars, with a corresponding total area of 4712.39 square millimeter. But take note that a portion of the short span steel reinforcement shall be distributed uniformly over a band width equal to the length of short side of the footing, centered on center line of column or pedestal, that is equals to, gamma s, multiplied by the area of steel. Wherein, gamma s, is equals to, 2 divided by beta plus 1. Where beta is the ratio of the longer side of footing over the short side of the footing. And gamma s, is equals to 0 0.794. That means, 0 0.794 multiply by the area of steel 4712.39 square millimeter and we have 3741.64 square millimeters. And to get the number of steel, we have 12 pieces to be distributed uniformly over a band width equal to the length of short side of the footing, 2500 millimeters. And the remaining steel area, 970.75 square millimeter, with corresponding number of four steel reinforcement shall be distributed uniformly outside the center band width of footing. Therefore, the total number of steel reinforcement for short span steel is 16 pieces of 20 millimeters diameter. And that ends the design of rectangular footing with eccentric loading. Thank you for watching. And to be updated for our future uploads, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell button.